Hello, welcome to Meta Perfume, or welcome back if you've seen me before. Um, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing that. It would help me out immensely. Uh, got a little over 300 subscribers at this point, and I'm hoping to reach monetization, which is a thousand within the year. I can wait. So I took last week and off filming because I was on a little vacation, which I badly needed. I've suffered some um, losses in my life. My dear grandmother passed away and best friend passed away. Um, I did a video on using fragrance while grieving um, after that. And I was able to take a little vacation and get a spa treatment last weekend, which was lovely. So I was at the spa and I noticed these Tokyo Milk fragrances at the spa and I smelled them all. I don't remember the other two. One was like dead sexy and I can't remember the other, but this one stood out to me after I smelled it as just delicious. And I thought for sure this is the gin and rose water uh, Tokyo Milk, one ounce. And it is an eau de parfum, I believe, yes. Um, now, this is something I would never have bought bec like after looking at the notes, because I didn't think I liked mimosa. And I was like smelling this, thinking it was juniper. And I was checking the notes. I didn't actually, it has notes written on the outside of the packaging, but I didn't notice those when I was smelling it. So um, this, smells so good it's like very daytime light bright citrusy I really thought it was juniper in there because I love juniper and I do not like mimosa or I didn't think I did but whatever they've done to it in this really works for me um, so you know how amazing you think you don't like something and then somebody does it in a certain way and it's really good so this has got mimosa citrus notes, mandarin, and Brazilian rosewood. That's it. And whatever is happening with the Brazilian rosewood and the citrus combining with the mimosa to me makes it smell very similar to juniper, which is so good. So yeah, it's a super, like the mandarin I think is really prominent in the opening. It smells great right out of the bottle. It's a very um, uplifting fragrance. It's got just a lot of zing, a lot of zest. Citrusy in the opening, orangey, mandariny. And it's just very uplifting. It's a very uplifting fragrance. It's a very like summertime, springtime, um, probably good for warm weather. I've been wearing it in kind of springy 70s weather and it's great. I think it would work well in the hot weather too. Probably, um, probably be good in cooler weather, but I haven't tried it, so I'm not sure. Oh, it's just really nice. It's not um, incredible longevity. It's, you know, it's less than $40, so I'm not expecting like the world with this fragrance, but it lasts probably three or four hours before you have to reapply moderate longevity. And yeah, it's just a really like light, uplifting, citrusy, to me, juniper reminiscent mimosa scent. <laughs> I never thought I would like. Um, there you go. This is the one ounce. And yeah, I highly recommend it. It won me over right away. And then I realized it was mimosa and I was like, what the? So that is it. Thank you very much. And if you enjoyed this, please give it a like and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.